a lot of the little things that D-Dog that D -Dog does do that's a little repetitive, and mm. if you're not always aware of the opportunities that he's going to take to use those opportunities with, like, you know, Minecart, mm. or, um, or, like, you know, uh, Jab, 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 it, it gets a little repetitive, and you and you kind of miss those opportunities to to catch it with, clay, with the with the frame one clay pigeon and the the can, which is what which what which what Fawn has at their disposal. They do have that frame one can and clay pigeon, uh, whenever D Dog does kind of with a um, a minecart entrance. That's what the plate's called. The clay pigeon, yeah, clay you pigeon. You learn something new every day. You're Thank welcome. you. And they're both that. frame one, <laughs> which is really oh, really evil. Yes. Well, jeez. Oh, the can can explode. Well, they both spawn frame one, but mm. yeah. the, the, the clay pigeon like has a hitbox on like frame nine or something. Yeah, it still spawns on frame one. Wow. Yeah, it just, that's it, what I yeah. mean. It yeah, spawns yeah. on frame one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And if, you're, if there's any gap in your combo, uh, usually you can spawn out a can and you'll get hit by it and you are not out of your combo immediately. Yeah. Very closely contested match right mm -hmm. now between the two. The biggest thing that Fawn's gonna have against D Dog is uh, air mobility. Just Very like that, Duck Hunt having a really solid um, up air game versus someone like Steve, who has a little bit of a hard time recover uh, coming back to the ground safely in the air. I was commentating one of Fawn's earlier matches in pools today, yep. and the conversions off of the, uh, the pigeon, what, what clay pigeon, the clay, clay pigeon, the clay pigeon, yep, were just on point. Converting it into either up air or back air was mm -hmm. really clean with it, and continuing it against uh, D Dog here. Yeah, and D-Dog using that, that diamond pickaxe. Oh, that could have been a huge punch off of the whip force smash. But instead, we're going to be opting to come back on the stage safely and setting up our gunmen and our pigeons and our bombs. D what is this? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I thought the same thing. It's like a little like McDonald's logo. <laughs> D-Dog said, after this, I, I got to go, go get some Mickey D's. <laughs> Yo, I'm hungry. D-Dog said, I got to go apply a job, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. The classic, you know, team job, either working at See? fast food or in the supermarket. Anyway. Dang. Oh, what the? That's funny. So, yeah. That was a lot. Bomb, okay, so Bomb was spawned while D Dog was uh, trying to up smash. Fong got hit with the up smash attack, died for it, and uh, D Dog got hit with the uh, can. It's, it's, it's a lot going on at once um, whenever Ken is, a, is around. I believe Fawn does have a little bit of control as to where it goes, um, like direction wise. Minecart snipe coming out, but Fawn trying to close this second stock of D Dogs out. Yeah, and D Dog again has to be really careful. Yep. Just crossing up like that. Boom, bam. There's that back here. Removing the, the crafting table as well. Super smart play on Fawn's part. To avoid that diamond being used, you don't want Dido to really uh, upgrade his tools whatsoever, especially because that diamond does too much. Oh, right. And we're gonna build a cracking bench right there just to get that diamond tool. See, D Dunk is avoiding that can as much as he can because he. Oh yeah, my that, god, that was funny. That shield was super low, so it was gonna be mm -hmm. tough anyway to avoid that uh, yep. foot, footstool out of shield with the, with the anvil, but. All right, we got a close close game one on our hands for sure. Ooh. You're giving your, your own bomb. I get it. Yep, yep. I'm surprised we didn't. But I don't think uh, D Dog had the, uh, the ability to go for a double dip with the fair. Yeah, yeah. Just because he was still on the ledge when it uh, when it connected. This is still it. very doable for Fawn, however, especially if you are. Oh, Clipation does not rival the minecart. Okay. That anvil was so close. D Dog definitely doing a good job of avoiding all these options that uh, Fawn is throwing out. At first, he was getting hit by a ton of them, but now just like staying super patient and just let me collect my resources, let me get my materials, and then we gonna scrap. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can see that D Dog is doing a much better job of actually managing his resources. Um, yeah. Just because now we have so much iron at disposal, so much anvil, so much minecart opportunity, and that was a very clean. Um, conversion from the minecart. I thought up smash was coming as soon as I saw that fair hit. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm, you're right. I, I, I'm sure that it. it sh I feel like it, it was gonna come too. There's a lot, a lot of bombs going on. We have TNT. We have can. Yeah. We have four smash. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> don't matter all the bombs that are exploded. It's a sword picture. match. But my sword broke. I think the, the biggest thing is, um, they're going to run it right back. Same stage. Yeah. But I think the biggest thing was, it, I think it was very distracting. Let me see. Right. There's a lot of distractions on the screen right now. Which kill do you want? Um, oh, you're fine. You're fine. I wasn't okay. going through any of them. I was just saying that, like, you know, the last stock, I think, just had a lot of distractions going on. There was, yeah. like, you know, Fawn having to make sure Cam was going a certain way that they wanted. There was TNT exploding at, or at least detonating, and then D Dog recognizing the opportunity to roll, and then yeah, do just charge forward smash. Bop. Yeah. <laughs> what are you Fawn throwing? <laughs> Fawn was still in end lag there. Yeah. Just like nothing you could do about that raw F smash just coming out. All right, let's see if D Dog could keep up the momentum and move through the loser's bracket. We're back on the same stage, you were saying, yep, right? Yep, we're running right, right back. Three, let's see. Two, one, go! This is a cute song. I like the song. <laughs> I don't know what it's from. It's called Planet Colors, though. Oh, all right. Oh, going immediately with the 51% already and counting and as we climbing. speak. And Iron Tools at disposal. Okay, D-Dog. Yeah, D-Dog said, all right, I had enough playing at the slow, methodical pace. Let's just, let's just get into it. I got a fairy to catch. I think that's, that's the biggest thing we're going to be seeing um, with the conflict to D to, um, to Fawn is just to be more aggressive with your approaches. Right. If you don't allow Fawn to at least, well, it's almost hard to not allow Fawn to pick up Clay Pigeon or Can, but yeah. if you're constantly in their face, they're not going to have the opportunity, at least for gunmen, for up airs, for backer conversions, anything like that at their disposal. Yeah, and, and to that point, right, if you start trying your best to, to rush Fawn down, Fawn might say, all right, come get this, and then start setting up their options and almost converting that kill into the up air. Yep. Um, but Fawn doing a good job here, trying to minimize the extra credit that D-Dog's getting. But Steve, with those tilts, at any moment, he just hits you with one move, and then you take 78. Well, off his own little can, but still. You know, I'm seeing a lot of just a, a really good aggressive aggressive play from D-Dog. Not, yeah. uh, not afraid to... You know, just be real, real close to Fawn because it is working out favorably for him. Um, Fawn, they just have to really, yep, there it is. Just finally getting that first stock off of D Dog and hopefully it's slowing the momentum down a little bit in their favor. The way that Clay Vision just <laughs> went away. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where, where we're trying. Both, both characters are really trying to find an opportunity. Right. to hit the other just from afar because another thing with Steve is you also don't want to be too close to him yeah. uh, which is where D-Dog is really opting uh, to steer his game plan towards because once you get close to, D to, to Steve you can take an easy 80% um, right. off of some off diamond there goes that pickaxe however wow that was so good caught it with caught the uh, neutral get up with the minecart pretty much saying like look you're going to wait it out I'm still going to catch it with something and speaking of minecart minecart getting it done right there yeah, D-Dog's use of TNT at the ledge is pretty awesome. I mean, I know it's a standard Steve, you know, option that they have, but, like, to now implement putting in the minecart to, to catch the roll mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. Either to catch the roll or um, or forcing your opponent to, to jump, and right. you are ca catching the, the up with an up air or the up tilt, yep. uh, up smash, you know, big hitbox. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. The anvil almost connecting after that forward air. Yeah, Fawn trying to bait out D-Dog into um, coming forward as they baited back from hitting the block, but not really going in their favor. It's really a struggle. Nice, nice stuffing out the, the down smash. <laughs> oh, okay. Wrong, wrong opponent. The can stuttering up the F smash, or the up you. smash. That was interesting. This recovery is so wacky. <laughs> uh, Steve's? Yeah, just so funny, especially when he goes like just horizontal. And he's just floating with, just with his wings. Yeah, pretty funny. Love the stairway he built to the platform. Very convenient. Yeah, he's like, come up this, and then let me send you to heaven. Oh, he's going for it. Right? Trying to close up the stock as fast as he can. He really wants to move towards losers, uh, losers grands against numbers, right? So here we go. This is the first I've been doing that, and D Dog just has to continue this. Okay. He's really. Ooh. Really aggressive approach, not taking it with the minecart. We're gonna be seeing another jump. Nice neutral get up using the invincibility frames, but unfortunately, there is that minecart to take out that possibility. 
Yeah, D Dog getting it done 2 0 over Fawn. And Fawn, I, I don't know if you saw in the player cam. Uh, yeah, Fawn got up after getting hit by that back air. was like, I don't know about this. It's time for me to get going. But hey, D Dog yeah. said, all right, let me hit you with the minecart, get you on the train early. Yeah, the DI was impressive on that on that back air. However, yeah, unfortunately, sure. there was just that, that that other setup that D Dog had in stock for for Fawn. Fawn was very smart using the iframes of the um, neutral getup to avoid the actual explosion of TNT. However, right here you'll see once more using the iframes to avoid that. D Dog was expecting a roll. Fawn was Fawn jumped up, and Doug was like, "That was curtains." My cart. Yeah. My cart. Yep. And that's definitely an 